I'm just fat. What to do, YouTube? This is your boy CEO Shots, aka Sneaker Hype Hustle. Back at you again with another legit check. This one is going to be on the Yeezy 750 Grey Glows or the 750 Glow in the Darks. Now, the fakes are getting very close. As a matter of fact, they are almost spot on. But there are just a few things that, this, that the fakes cannot get correct. In this breakdown, I'm going to show you those small things. But before I get into it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I have a lot of legit checks that I will leave down in the description and I will be putting out more. So without holding you anymore, let's get into it. As always, I'm going to start you off with the box. There's a few things that the fakes just can't get right as far as the box label. One of those things are the font that it's printed in. So as far as the font on the colorway, uh, the word originals and so forth and so on. On the fakes, the most noticeable thing is the Yeezy Boost 750. On this particular pair, the Yeezy is in lowercase, but the Boost is in uppercase letters. But the main thing that the fakes are messing up on is that the Y is not supposed to be touching this line right here. If you have a pair and that Y is touching that line, most likely you have a fake. If you look at the little guy in the top left corner, you'll see that it's very symmetrical. Arm same length, leg same length, and the head is not touching the body. On the fakes, it's very disproportionate as it is on a lot of fake boxes on the Yeezy. So the little guy in the top left corner is definitely always, or not always, but most of the time, a telltale sign. If your guy is not perfect, like it is here, most likely you have a fake. As far as everything else goes, the fakes are pretty much spot on as far as the box. All right, moving right along to the kicks. I'm gonna start off by pointing a few things off on the zipper. Your pair is supposed to have this kind of cage thingy covering the, the zipper right here. If you do not have that on your zipper, most likely it's a fake. Also, the YKK on the zipper. If you flip the zipper up and you have YKK on the back side also, most likely you have a fake. The alignment with this Velcro strap right here. On the fakes, this, this gap that's in between the stitch and the actual Velcro is not there. On the fakes, they have their Velcro all the way to the, to the end of this, this fabric right here. So if you do not have a space in between your stitch and the Velcro, most likely you have a fake. Also, another thing with the zipper is, as you can see, the zipper is like a silverish color, but the actual teeth on the zip line is actually gold. On the fakes, the zipper and the zip teeth and the zipper teeth are both the same colors. So if you have a pair and your teeth on the zipper is not gold, most likely you have a fake. On a pair of the 750 gray glows, they come with a dust bag. On the dust bag, you have a double stitch line across the top where the opening is. So if you have a pair and your dust bag only has one stitch versus the two that's on this one right here, most likely you have a fake. On the left shoe, on the underside of the strap, you will see a YZY. -Y. On that Y, you should see a little bump on the bottom of the left side of the Y. So right over here, you're gonna see a small bump. If you can look there and then right there, on the Y, on the fake pairs, they seem to can't get that right. So if you have a pair that doesn't have that small lump here and on the other Y, most likely you have a fake. If you look at the strap on your 750s, you will see that the stitching on the strap is very tight and very close. The vertical line is definitely smaller and skinnier than the horizontal line. So vertical going up and down, horizontal going left to right. On the fakes, you will see that the vertical and the horizontal line are the same size. This is very small, but if you're legit checking, this is something to look for. So if you have a pair where the vertical and horizontal lines are the same size, most likely it's a fake because on the real, the vertical lines are skinnier or smaller or slim, more slim than the horizontal lines. Sometimes the boost is a good way to tell, but these days on the fakes, the boosts are getting pretty good. They don't use the actual boost but it's getting very close. So it's not much to really say, just if your boost and the small nipples here are not lining up like they do here on the outer edge, most likely you have a fake. If you take a look at the top of the insole, you will see that it's a gray shade. On the fakes, it seems to have like a, like a dark, darker shade or almost a green looking tint. So if you have a pair that has that greenish looking tint and not this gray color right here, most likely you have a fake. On a real pair, you'll see that the back side of the insoles are black. On some of the fakes, the back side of the insole are white. So if you have a pair and you flip that insole over and the back side of it is white, most likely you have a fake. All real pairs have a black 
on the side. If you take a look at the inside, underneath the insoles, you'll see that the bed of the shoe underneath this white fabric, you can see the lumps or the texture of the boots coming through or popping through the fabric. If you have a pair and underneath the insole is pretty smooth and you can't see the lumps or the texture through the white fabric, most likely you have a fade. And that's going to wrap this video up, guys. I hope that you enjoyed and I hope that this is very helpful for you guys. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and drop a like. I will leave my other legit checks inside of the description. So if you're not following me on Instagram, go ahead and do that also. It's CEO Shots, Sneaker Hype Hustle. I'm signing out.